everyone to start by introducing themselves. Hello. So introduce where are you from, uh, which surgery did you have, and what day are you? Uh, <laughs> My name is Radula, I'm from Egypt. Uh, <laughs> sleep <laughs> astrectomy. She had a sleep astrectomy. She's from Egypt. Um, it's not too, uh, I'm Today is day one. Day How one. Day one. Yes, she's day one. And uh, let's go to Haley. I'm Haley from Cambridgeshire, the UK. From and where? Cambridge. Cambridge. Yes. And I've had a revision from band to sleep. From band to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, Tracy. I'm Tracy. I'm from Birmingham in the UK, and I've had a bypass. I'm mm -hmm. Dave Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm Claire from the UK, uh, I had a sleeve yesterday. Yeah, sleeve yesterday. What kind yeah. of sleeve yesterday? Uh, bikini. Bikini yeah. sleeve. Uh, okay, from the UK, I had a bikini sleeve yesterday. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Bikini sleeve, and you're a sister. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we're always passionate about you know family members having surgeries. We had moms and daughters. We had uh, dads and sons, and definitely lots of sisters. Mm -hmm. And you? Um, yeah. From Saudi Arabia, in Jeddah. Uh -huh. Coming uh, yesterday. Today, yes. And you had a sleeve or a bypass? I don't know. What, what, what? Oh, what, what surgery did you have? Like Nemo? Yeah, yeah. Sleeve or sleeve? Oh, right. We have it. And you come from the road up? You have a seat here? We have an Adam Bart. But how is it to add Demi? Uh, no. So, Demi is in the south. And I'm at Tanya Alea. So Nora had a, uh, a sleeve astrectomy three years ago. But it didn't work for her, so she came over for a rule and gastro for a mini gastric bypass surgery. So today is a really, really good day to see all variety of bariatric surgery, as far as recovery, as far as types of surgery, and no one in this room is more than three days after surgery. So. You can notice how, how fast recovery is. And I would say that almost, since we have a, a more of international patients today, I would say that most of you are living within the next four days, right? Not more than that. Which, again, is a reflection of how fast the recovery is with bariatric surgery. So, uh, usually in those meetings, we like to listen to your questions because your questions, you know, uh, bring more questions. So I, I'm here to answer all of them. Go ahead, How did you get eight hopes to examine? Ah, that's a very good question. I only managed two yesterday. I only managed two. So this is, this is not good. The, the, the average number on the first couple of days is three to four. So two is okay, you know, but I wanted more. By the way, with a bypass, it's easier than sleep. Bypass are generally easier, but you know, there's no golden rule. Sometimes you have sleep patients that can take 10 cups on one day, and others that can, have, can be like you, only two cups. So I want you to be pushing for more. Don't overdo yourself, but you know, take it slow, but don't sit back and relax and be too lazy to drink, all right? And uh, it, it is a full-time work to drink right now because you need to phase it out along the day. So take it slow, drink more and more. Your aim is the minimum of eight cups, minimum. What else? Any questions? Uh, he's asking about uh, your, how you, how will you transit into food different phases of, of, of nutrition. During the first week, it's liquids. Second week, we start uh, introducing uh, the soft diet. And generally not before four weeks that we introduce the solid food. So you're going to take it very slow. And this is the same exact plan for even the gastric balloon, all the types of bypasses, and for the sleep strike. You'll be given the instruction guide, uh, and there will be dietitian support throughout the way, uh, along the way during the recovery. This is the most important month in your journey. So you need to focus on it as much as you can. So he's asking a good question. Uh, two questions, actually. Uh, throwing is throwing up. Would throwing up, you know, um, mess up your scar inside? Your, uh, can it, can it affect your staples if you continuously throw up uh, after surgery? No, it doesn't. But it's not advisable. We try to keep it uh, as minimal as possible. It's not necessarily going to happen. 
but if you overdo yourself, it will happen. So the trick is to drink slowly, take it sip by sip. Uh, pace, not what? No, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So take it step by step because uh, it's like driving a new car. You need to test drive it before you, you, you can go ahead. Second question, can you sleep on one side? Uh, I, I had a patient that did yoga. Can you do yoga? Can you do, can you, you know, stand upside down? You can do whatever you want. It's not gonna affect. But generally, the first two weeks, make it easy, all right? What else, Casilla? Yeah, <laughs> ah, very good. Very good. All right, so generally, uh, for people who are traveling, which are most of people in this room, we highly recommend hydration. So why I want you to hydrate? Because you're healing, and more importantly, to pump blood in your system, and then this is the faster recovery. And most importantly for people traveling, uh, the risk of blood clots. We don't want any blood clots to occur. So the, to avoid all of that, drink properly, drink a lot, okay? and keep walking. So uh, those two things make the chances of blood clots much lower especially when planes are a bit of a high risk for, uh, for a clock to occur. Okay, any more questions? <laughs> this is what I like, so basically this is what I want. I want uh, all of you to be well informed and don't have a lot of questions because uh, this is our job to make you well informed and you know, keep the questions going in your mind. What would be the symptoms of the blood clot? Symptoms of blood clot would be uh, swelling of your uh, calves, pain, uh, Redness and warmth of of the blood, so it, you will know what's so happening. You know, and any any alarming sign, you are directly connected to me. You can always message me at any time. Okay. <laughs> الألم بيش كم شهر؟ لا ثلاث أيام بيقولوا كأنه في شوكة. Let me ask them. So they they were asking about pain. Uh, you, Tracy, you're day three. How's pain? Out of 100%. Um, today it's just uncomfortable. It's the drain. That's the biggest pain. Is the what? Drinking? The drain. The drain. The drain yeah. So, so and not not everyone pain. had a drain. It's the only pain I yes. Had. Okay. So. Exactly. So generally, this was, you have more of a discomfort, and yeah. it was a drain that's most painful. Yeah. All right. So day three, if you have a drain, you will have something. If you don't have a drain, it's the chances are less. Why people have drains? It's, it depends on what kind of kind of surgery you have. Uh, mostly sleeves, we don't put a drain uh, in most of our sleeves. But if it's a revision, we need to put one because it's a more complicated surgery. Uh, as far as pain, how about you? Your day one. Yeah. So yes. out of a hundred percent. It's just more on comfy when you move around. More on comfy. That's all 50%. Yeah. So yeah, by day three, most patient, uh, most of people and patients tell me that they're almost 90% recovered. Day four, it's as if you don't have any, as if you never had, that's their own words, as if they never had any surgery. You look at no All right. Thank you all for coming. Um, I really wish you a great journey, and uh, this is the you know, the best time in your life, I would imagine. Uh, you're on the right track. Uh, I know all of you, uh, personal details, and I know how, you know, uh, we were discussing one of the patients uh, from yesterday had a bad liver, and this liver needs to, to, to shrink because the fat I was discussing, uh, that the number one cause of a liver transplant in the next 10 years would be obesity. Obesity is destroying our liver. There's no one treatment that can, you know, cure it. Sure, the, the fat on, on the liver is weight loss. That's all. There's no medication for that. So I hope all of you the best in, in, in this life and great success of weight loss. Thank you for coming. Thank you for trusting me.